Hello, and welcome to another episode of Delta V, where we'll be hopping back in to our save with the Lazy Orbit and our new ship, the Close Gravitas. Last time we did a very quick run, a salvage run, to grab that ship uh, that we had on Linar and sell it. Um, pretty sure we did some upgrades too, let me check. Yes, we did get the fusion torch finally. So it looks like we're going to go out for another mining run. Last time we brought home quite a bit, like 500,000 um, euros. Uh, last time we took the ship out. It probably doesn't need repaired. Just double check. Nuke reactor is a little iffy, but it's okay. Um, let me check the tuning real quick. Okay. We're not going to have... Hmm. This is actually a conundrum. With such a heavy ship. I'm actually thinking... You know what? We'll run with the fusion torch and we'll see how it goes. If we're a little sluggish, we will change thrusters. Everything else looks good though. So let's get right into it. Let's go. Um, let's just explore a nice random part. Let's just go here, I guess. I think our next goal is going to be we're going to save up enough money to grab a claim beacon because obviously as long as we refresh our astrogator sites we can put down that we're gonna go to the space bar use it as a jump off point and we are going to travel past the dead zone here into this next remaining section and then we're gonna drop off a beacon so that we can go here and mine whenever we want so Today's mining run is going to be getting enough money to afford uh, a beacon and uh, preparing for future dives into the next ring section. Um, we're not going to go to the space bar right off the bat. We're going to do a little bit of exploring. We'll talk to whoever we see. No, I don't need to begin. See if we can't find new locations, meet some new people, get some new coordinates. While it would give us good rocks right off the bat to go to the space bar, we've been there before. And um, we're not going to continue to explore the rings if we just keep going back to the same location, right? curious real quick we can set the minimum value on our mining companions look at this so we're gonna set six thousand as the minimum value I don't want them getting iron yeah look at that that is amazing 
Hopefully it'll make them a little bit more profitable. Thinking about dropping one off here. What do you guys think? You know, we're gonna do it. Uh number three away. I don't wanna burn him up in my own thrusters. I hope he's gonna slow down because he is just zooming. Oof. Please don't die on me, a little drone. Are they programmed to follow me? Because he is keeping up with me. Maybe drop them off so fast is a bad idea. No, he's good. I wish there was a way to refuel them. Like, if they're low, you'd be like... Or if they automatically just, like, try and come back to you. Like, you know, uh, request refueling. You can accept, and then you go stationary. They come back to dock. That would be amazing. Because you can actually activate this docking port again. You got a little one right here. See it? The docking port. Pretty sure you can actually redock them. I'm not sure if you can refuel them, though. That de definitely doesn't do it automatically. If they run out of fuel, they just go home. I would like a warning so that I can keep them around. We're gonna drop off the other drone here, and we're just gonna start mining, I guess. Hope that we run into people so that we can get more events. Number four. Oh, wait. It's all you, bud. Go mine. Ah! Is our computer okay? It's fine. Never any adventure needs to watch where he's fucking pointing that. That's also what we need to do. We need to save for a mining laser. Did I s can I reset them still? Let's do 5,000. I don't want them to be just walking around doing nothing. 5,000 is going to give them some time to actually get some rocks. I don't like mining right next to my own drones, but I think they follow you, which is annoying. I don't want them to follow me. I'm kind of just letting the drones grab all the good stuff. We need to start picking some stuff up, though. Another type beam message, huh? The last one was about um, that, that derelict. Remember? Oh, this is the person we're supposed to pick up. Although she never gave us coordinates, so I don't know. I don't know if these drones are worth it with the way they keep following me around. These are my rocks, little drone. Go get your own. God damn it, drone. I don't need you bumping into me. Yeah. <sighs> drone! You know what? You go get that beryllium. Good luck. Oh, I missed. Come here. Oh, we're gonna hit something, aren't we? Come on. This is why I missed my manipulator arm. Please. Oh, I was damaging these, uh, fusion 
this engine and these thrusters cost uh, a lot more than what we were using. Alright, what do we get? Um, well, this region's like not fantastic, but it's, you know, decently average, right? It's just so we can get enough money for a claim beacon, and then we'll go mine elsewhere. We're also trying to still keep an eye out, once again, for uh, other ships. Oh, there goes one of them. I hope he has uh, a lot of stuff on him. I don't know how I feel about this prototype ship. It's... I don't even... I don't know. I guess it's decent for a little mining ship. I'll give it that. A lot of very average rocks out here. I'm thinking we might head back a little early. Ooh, we've got a 9k on us this entire time, huh? Anyways, I'm thinking we might head back a little early. Grab the mining beat. Uh, yeah, the mining beacon, like the claim beacon, and uh, go set up our mining location. Because these rocks are just not really worth our time, you know? Just want to make sure I have enough in the bank before we go back. These two 8Ks sh sh probably our last two rocks. And apparently there's a pirate around here. It's not really fantastic considering it's not worth our life, time, and money to fight it without a uh, arm. See if we know where it is. I think it's this one up here. Oh, the bounty hunters. We'll probably get our bounty hunting license at some point. Our computer is a little damaged. You, you keep seeing that? Yeah, it's a little damaged here. Um, but, like, our visual feed, our drone keeps spazzing out sometimes. Alright, um, that's enough rocks, I'm going to tell our drone, no answer. Do we have to wait till he's done? Can I not, he's not going to answer? Drone, I wish you would answer your hails. So I, I wish to go back to the station. You know, we're gonna go back anyway. I guess it'll be a little test to see if the drone um, requires us to be here or if it'll go back on its own. Also, we might change the thrusters a little bit. Alright, we're gonna go back to the station and reset. Now right, we're back with that small hole. What I'm thinking we're gonna do, because this ship is a little heavier and it's a little bulky, um, this is our mining ship, you know. So we're gonna take off the 
fusion torch because the thrust is not fantastic. We're gonna put on. We're gonna put on. Hmm. It's gimbal too. All right, we're gonna put this sh this one on. We're gonna save some money. Um, mass is sixteen fifty versus three thousand. We're gonna save some mass. The fuel economy is not the greatest. Um, the thrusters. Honestly, we're gonna keep the thrusters because I like the gimbal angle. They help a lot. And we're not actually gonna take this ship out for the mining claim. And in fact, um, no, we're gonna save our money. Okay. For the mining claim, we are going to grab probably Lazy Orbit. We're gonna outfit her for more combat specialized missions, right? So, I'm curious. The Delta V for the closed gravitas. Is at 23,000 meters per second. Um, that's still pretty good. And it'll go up when we drop off the drones and it'll go down when we pick up equipment. Um, and we'll probably throw on one of, um, where is it? Probably gonna throw on one of these APUs, probably this one, uh, so we can get fuel as we go. So for the, because I don't think we need like that much Delta V, 24,000 still lasts us quite a long time, right? Unless we actually start running into problems or areas where we need that Delta V, we're probably going to stay away from the fusion torches. We might put it on this ship if it's light enough. So, so this is going to be our super light ship, combat ship. Um. We'll keep. Let me think here. We need a claim beacon, and this stay is out there in space. I think. So we're gonna give up our mining laser or microwave emitter. Is there a better one? Is it just one? Okay, we're gonna grab the claim beacon. We've still got the mass driver. And we've got our manipulator arm. Uh, let's check our react RCS. Our RCS is... These gimbaled? They are gimbaled. We're gonna trade up though, because these have a better angle and they'll help us in the future. And we're at 12,000 ship mass. How much fuel do we have? Okay, we're still in extended, it's fine. What's our engine? We're using the same engine as the other ship. We are. We have 25,000 meters per second of delta V, that's fine. I wanna, I'm gonna stay like this. I think. Uh, we're gonna tune up the RCS. And. Um, we're gonna keep this because it's got the greatest range, it'll go well with our combat craft. Combat, scout, salvage, this is what we're going to use the ship for. Um, I'm wondering if it'll be worth it. So this is 5,000, this is 4,000. Honestly, let's stay with this for now. You know what? I'm happy with this. Let's launch and let's go set down our claim beacon. 
Does this ship need repairs? It does. Let's just fix it. It'll give our mechanics some much needed experience. So here's the space bar. And this is going to throw off our center of mass a little bit, but it's okay. Let's go to the space bar. Now because I've chosen to get rid of the fusion engines for both our ships, our ships are going to have a really good um, thrust to weight ratio. We're sacrificing a lot of delta V, which I'm not sure if we need, for response time. Um, I could have sacrificed some more um, fuel economy for the more powerful RCS, but these RCS have larger gimbals. See, even the back gimbals, or the back RCS gimbal to slow us down now. So I can actually turn off the front gimbals and use the side ones only for salvaging. See how badly our center of mass is off? Wow. So we just need to get to the other side get up to speed. I can't wait to drop off this mining beacon. It's throwing my ship everywhere. Fun fact, if you go fast enough, uh, maybe it's like 200 meters per second, the emergency autopilot will automatically transfer you back to M uh, the station. Still can't pronounce it perfectly, but yeah, it'll transfer you back to the station. Good to know if you're ever in a pinch and Let's see. Uh, it'll either stop you or transfer you back to the station. I'm not sure if there's conditions. We're already halfway through the dead zone in the rings. It kind of feels good to be back in this ship. The other ship's really nice for mining, but I feel almost naked without my manipulator arm. We'll have to see, look at other ships. Um, I know there's a variant of Eagle that has a hard point, and it's pretty good for mining too. Because we, I'd really like us to have like a jack of all trades ship, and then we can make this K-37 our combat ship. I mean, it's already kind of a jack-of-all-trades ship. I think we're nearing the edge. You know, while we're out here, we might as well just try and get as deep as possible, right? We're good. Flying recklessly fast again. 176 meters per second. When do you th think we should stop? Like 350, 400 right now? I mean, if we can keep up the speed. The danger is hitting things, of course. It's going to start getting pretty busy in the rings. I am barely threading the needle between these rocks. We should slow down a little bit. Oof, this is going to be tight. I guess slow down. It's really hard to slow down though because the center of mass is so off.
All right, 350. We'll stop at 350. Realistically, is there a reason why more dense material would be found closer towards the planet? Like, best guess is, right? Because they, they'd be larger, denser chunks of material. They're slower, which means they... No, that doesn't make sense. Because uh, orbits work backwards, right? No, yes, no. Hmm. Let me think about this. So if you're going faster, you have a larger orbit. So yeah, so a, a more dense object would be going slower, which means it would be closer to the planet. That's my best guess. Oh my god. The dodges we're doing. I need to slow down. We're not even going directly towards the rings anymore. I still want to get to 350 though. Coming all the way out here, might as well make use of it, right? 325. 328. If you tell me where to go... I don't know where that is. I need coordinates. Unless I randomly find the station. I'm, I will pick up your sister. I, I No problem with that. I don't know where she is. 332. You know what this music kind of reminds me of? Um, Learn to Fly 1 and 2. Um, it's like a little penguin. It's like a Flash game back on some old gaming websites. And, you know, you're a little penguin. And the whole goal is to, like... The first game, it's to leave Antarctica. And the second game, it's to get to space. Or get to the moon or something. Uh, the penguins are angry that nobody thinks they can fly. So they start, like, a space agency. It's a funny little game where you start off, like with ramps and sleds and the more fl flights the longer you go and stuff like that the more research or money you get and you can unlock new items like a glider or rocket boosters a space shuttle stuff like that but the music gives me the same vibes because when you're doing really well and learn to fly uh like this really not hard but you know this rock music comes out and starts like you know hyping you up playing and the faster you go, the better it is. 342. We're almost there. I think this is the deepest I've ever actually been. And we can uh, use this as a jump off for future expeditions if we wish. I mean, I could sit here and uh, just fly backwards for the next hour and get as deep as possible. But we've got things to do, places to be. 348. It'd be really great if I could have gotten in one of these propellers down deep in the ring, but that's uh, like double where we are, and it's also southeast. 350. We're here. Um, yeah, this little quiet section of space right here looks good. Still 22,000 meters per second of delta V. Um, yeah, maybe that fusion drive is a little overkill. Alright, so let's uh, deploy this thing. I want to clear out a little bit of room. So let's just pop that. We'll probably use our mass driver to do a little bit of mining just so we can make up for the cost of coming out here. And we're gonna drop this off. Do we need to talk to it? Booting up, we do need to talk to it. It'd be embarrassing if we like dropped it and it just left. Uh, I hope it works. Crying shadow, huh? Ready for claim options. 60,000 for 60 days? Okay. Yeah, okay. 
I guess it's time to do a little bit of mining. Just to make up for the cost. At least some of the rocks here are really good. I'm sure we'll find really nice nodes. So we need to grab like 70,000 just to make the trip worth it. I mean, it's already worth it that we can get out here. But I don't want to go home empty handed. Already at 23,000. We might just grab like everything we see at this point. Did our our arm settings forbid it, forbid the uh, thing from grabbing? Oh, I missed my mining laser setup. All right, that's it. We're going to turn off minimum value on this so that manipulator can do its job again. Sorry about that, everyone. Had a little bit of a recording issue, so unfortunately, the last couple of minutes of uh, you know just grabbing some rocks, so we repaid our investment, did not get recorded. But as you can see, we've made our way back to the station. We sold about fifty-two thousand euros worth of minerals, and we've basically recouped our investment of dropping off the claim beacon. Uh, so next time, we'll be taking out the mining ship and seeing if all of our work was actually worth it in the long run. I'm going to leave it here, and thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.